Welcome and welcome back to Rocktober. I'm Karen Peterson, certified music practitioner and harp coach. Tonight is the 27th night of straight Rocktober live stream music on the harp, music that I play as a certified music practitioner in healthcare facilities, play either for patients or for patients and staff. And I am um, raising money for the music for healing and transition program, the program that I became certified through, uh, where I learned how to play music in healthcare facilities, how to play for patients, how to play for staff, how to observe the patients to choose music that's appropriate for them and continue to observe them as I play and adjust and make changes to how the music is arranged or what song I'm going to play next based on what I'm witnessing from that patient. I'm going to play a kind of fun song tonight, but I will start with a very, very serious topic. Um, the program that I went through is the music for healing and transition. So healing is that part that we all want to have happen, go into the hospital, get better, come out of the hospital. Transition is for not that. Transition um, refers both to the transition from life to death, but also the transition of acceptance of what is happening if what's happening to you is that you're not going to get either get better or get back to exactly where you were when you, when you had whatever happened to you. So this can be the transition of adjusting to um, an, an injury that will be permanent or the transition to adjusting to accepting a diagnosis that uh, you don't want to accept um, that will mean life, life changes for you. Um, a lot of times in, uh, in, in uh, medical dramas, in movies, um, you know, the, it, it makes a better story for the, the patient to get better. You know, kind of like what's, what's all happening in Grey's Anatomy? You know, somebody comes up with this brilliant idea. You know, what happened in house? Oh, he walks over and he's walking home and he sees this fountain and it means that the, he knows how to cure the, what the patient has. Um, that's not, that's not really the norm, but because we see that, um, we have that as an expectation. Oh, you go into the hospital and you get this great team of doctors. You find the right team of doctors. You shop around the hospital until you find the, the right team of doctors to heal you. Sometimes that does not happen. Often that, well, let's say often, but sometimes that doesn't happen. And um, what certified music practitioners are, one of the things that we're there to assist with. Okay, look, we can't, we can't make things happen with the patient, but we can use the music to make a space for the potential, not only for healing, but for acceptance, for transition into acceptance. Um, and this can be helpful having this space. If you, know, if you think of being in the hospital, what are the sounds that you hear in the hospital? What are the sounds in the hospital room? You might be with a roommate, so you might be having to deal with hearing the roommate um, themselves as a patient, but also the roommate's visitors, the roommate's doctors, the roommate's nurses, the roommate's television, the roommate's uh, phone that they're listening to without headphones. Um, you might have um, hospital machines that you are hearing the, like, the horror of, of machines or the horror of the, your, your um, uh, roommate's machines. There are announcements going on. Um, uh, that they will, you know, uh, I at least at my hospital, I guess those aren't really so much in the rooms. Um, but you, know, you can hear people outside the door, like there's nurses going back and forth, you hear people talking outside. To be trying to either be, you know, at that life death transition doorway or at this transition to the acceptance of a, of a diagnosis that you wish were not so. Um, what would you rather have? Would you rather have these hospital sounds, the worrying machines and the talking and the, and the, the TVs and the going back and forth, or would you rather have 
a sound to mask that and to create a space that is helps you kind of be a little bit outside of where you are at in the hospital and can help you move towards towards acceptance away from denial of of what is happening for um the life death transition when there is someone um, when a family is there with um with their loved one um at, you know, having a vigil awaiting um being you know being present with that person as they are moving towards death would you rather have the whirring machine sounds of the hospital and the chattering outside the hallway or some live acoustic music sounds. So a good portion of the training in the Music for Healing and Transition program is about specifically dealing with death, dealing with um, denial, dealing with our own mortality. So this is, I'm, I'm so glad that I went through um, MHTP. I'm just so glad I went through a training program to just be like a musician kind of coming in off the street and saying like, hey, I know how to play an instrument. Like, I'm a good person. I want to help people um, is, is wonderful. Like, that's, that's wonderful. But, you know, do you have the kind of preparation to encounter people who are going through transition, either life, death transition or transition in of I didn't think that I had this diagnosis and now I have this diagnosis, what am I going to do? Um, so I, I really, I really appreciate the training that I got on, um, on, um, on addressing that through the Music for Healing and Transition program. Um, I am now going to transition to something really not serious. So thank you for sitting through the serious portion. Your reward for thinking of some serious things is to uh, prepare to hear a, uh, I, I'm going to call it a fun song, but um, um, just uh, the, the his, a little bit of the history of the song, or no, a little bit of imagined history of this song. Um, this is a, this is a very popular song, and I think it's something that exists. You might not pay close attention to it anymore because you've heard it so many times. You're like, I know how this goes. I know what I know what's going to happen. But if you listen, I listen closely to the song. I just kind of imagine the um, the the leader of the group, you know, kind of pitching this song to their producer and just being like, I have this idea. I have this idea for the song. Okay, so the song it's going to be like. The whole time it's just gonna kind of be like this ambient noise. It's gonna kind of be like like a like a like a like an airplane, like a like a like a just like maybe like when the truck goes onto that bumpy part of the road, they gotta get back on. It's like and it's just gonna be like and it's, it's gonna be like through the whole time, and like sometimes there'll just be like another noise, like wow wow, like that'll just that'll just kind of happen, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of this like this like spooky noises and and, and just like whirring and stuff. And producer like, like, oh, okay. Um, well, uh, how about you know, is there, is there, is there words? You know, is it you, you gonna, you gonna sing? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna sing. Okay, well, oh, what's, what's the song about? Look, just, I'm just gonna make it up. I'm, uh, I'm going through a divorce, so just mic me, and I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wing it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna make it up. Oh, here's a scary, here's a scary sound now. Um, all right, well, so you're a drummer. Uh, are you gonna, are you gonna, you know, what's, you gonna do drums? And he's like, not until the third chorus. <laughs> it's not gonna be any drums. I'll bring him in the third chorus. The producer's like, all right, great. We got spooky spa with angry husband making up words. And you're gonna do the greatest drum break fill of all time. Go. Enjoy.
Phil Collins. Um, I recently played this. Um, uh, it was just one of my spooky song sets uh, for uh, um, uh, for for a group of staff who were doing Halloween, well Halloween stuff. They said, "Can you play some spooky music?" This was one of them. Um, the Chris Isaac, uh, Chris Isaac, uh, Wicked Wicked Game was another one. Um, this um, uh, it's just such <laughs> it's this really pretty song on the harp. Um, but it is, it is it's spooky. It's a spooky song. Um, I will I will put the video in the comments. Uh, watch it. Uh, the video's fine. It's it's, it's 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 a lot of his face going like this, right? Um, but um, I gosh, remember when rock stars didn't have to be like really like really good looking? They could just be normal people. It's just a normal guy. Just like zoom in on my face. I'm just I'm just a dude. Um, but listen, listen to the song again. If you have if you you think you know it and you do know it, but just like listen like. If you were pitching this song, or if you were trying to describe this song to somebody who can't, who can't hear, who's never heard it before and won't have a chance to listen to it, you're like, no, no, it's just like, it's like, and sometimes they go like, anyway, um, not so much probably a song that I play uh, when uh, in areas where patients can hear, but I definitely play this um, in the areas for, uh, for staff, where it's just like, just staff areas, um, and this, it's really pretty. Um, if I were playing this uh, in a patient area, I don't think I would be like dramatic with that with that drum break. Um, 
uh, and just kind of keep it light and, and not, again, not, not dramatic. So, um, yay, that was today's Rocktober. I hope you enjoyed it. Come back um, for um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's it. Thursday is Halloween. That will be the end of Rocktober. We'll have the last spooky song. And please make a donation if you have not already. Thank you so much to everybody who has. We've been, we've got at least $750 um, throughout kind of all of the 27 Rocktobers. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't donated, um, please help me uh, get that, that last $250. Um, show your appreciation for the 27 nights and the 27 outfits and uh, the, the 27 loads of laundry that have gone, gone with those. I will see you again tomorrow night and again through uh, Halloween. Thank you so much. Peace. Take care of each other.